Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. If you have the urge to plant some intentions right now for the season of spring, then continue watching the video. I'm gonna share with you a really simple therapeutic art exercise that will help you set your intentions for the spring equinox. So the spring equinox is just right around the corner and I don't know if you feel it in the air where you are in the world, but I can definitely feel that the energy is changing. People are outside more, there's more smiling people, the sun is out, there's flowers blooming out of the ground right now and everything is just about to burst into the season of spring and summer. And even when I was in the plant store the other week, a lot of people already are buying seeds and thinking about what they want to grow in their garden. And so this is a time to celebrate the return of light, to celebrate the return of life, to come out of hibernation in the winter. And this is a really exciting time to start setting intentions for yourself and for your life. This is a perfect opportunity for you to think about what you really want in the upcoming months. So this therapeutic art activity is inspired by the season of spring and what I'm going through right now and what I think a lot of other people in the world are going through right now. And it's gonna give you some time to think about what you wanna start planting, what you want for your future, and what sort of things you wanna start manifesting for your life. As I said, right now is the perfect season. So this is a really simple therapeutic art exercise that you can do at home as a way for you to set your intentions for the upcoming months. You're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a brown pencil crayon, a jar of water, paint brushes, and a variety of acrylic paints. Begin to set up your space for art making. Light a candle to signify the start of your session. Take a few deep breaths in and out to be here now. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I am taking this time for myself and my creativity. I am in charge of my own life. It is my time to shine. Write down your intentions, plant your seeds into the ground, and watch your garden grow. With your pencil, write down all your intentions. Think of your health, relationships, finances, whatever it is, just write it down. Take your brown pencil crayon and color over it. This is you planting your seeds and laying down the foundation. Now, draw your garden in full bloom. What would it look like if all your seeds came true? Use colors, images, lines, and shapes to show your garden of joy. Fill it up, let it bloom, and allow your intentions to manifest. process was so fun for me to imagine what my garden would look like, to imagine what it would feel like if all the seeds that I planted were to be in full bloom. I love flowers, I love watching things grow and tuning into these colors and looking at it now just brings me so much joy and happiness and I think it's really important for me just to sit down, give myself half an hour to think about what I want for the next few months of my life. I feel like the whole past year has gone by way too fast. We don't give ourselves time to slow down and think what we really want. You know, I feel like we blink sometimes and a whole week can pass by. And I think it's important to think about your future because I don't want to keep living my life and not remembering what's happening. Giving myself this time to create this garden, to create my dream garden of manifestation was a really nice exercise for me and especially to do it in this time of the year. So I really hope that you give yourself some time to celebrate this time of year, to really take the time when you're walking around to see the flowers that are blooming right now, to see what kind of dreams you want to happen in your life and to start planting them and to start saying it out loud, start writing it down and declaring it to the universe so that they can hear you. I think that it's really important for us to get 
back in touch with our creativity as well. I don't want you to be so intimidated by this process. Just know that whatever you create, as long as you put your intention and your heart into it, that's all that matters. This is not something that you have to show everyone. This is something that you're going to do for yourself. So if you do decide to try this exercise, I would love to see your garden. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can always tag me on Instagram or email me and send me your thoughts about the process and what you want to manifest in your life. And if you're interested, I do offer one-on-one -on -one online therapeutic art sessions. So if you want to go deeper into the process and get in touch with your creativity and use your creativity as a way to heal, to discover who you are, and to just get back in touch with who you are, then please do not hesitate to reach out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would help me out so much. And in the meantime, I'm sending you guys all love and I'll see you next week.